Hi guys. Today's video is going to be one big review for Red Velvet, Irene and Sulgi's unit debut with Monster. If you didn't know, Red Velvet is my alt group so as soon as Sulreen's unit debut was announced I knew that I would be making a review video for it. Like all my other review videos, I will be sectioning the video into parts. Without further ado, let's get started. The song is so, so good. I didn't watch any of the teasers because I wanted to be surprised and it was well worth it. Monster sounds like if Psycho and Zimzalabim had a baby, which is perfect because they're keeping that Psycho hype while making it suitable for summer. The song is the creepiest song Red Velvet had ever done, maybe behind Peekaboo, but that's okay because it really suits them. I wasn't sure what to expect from Irene especially because she isn't part of the vocal line, but she ended up doing a really good job on her vocal parts. I always felt like I couldn't recognize her voice in Red Velvet songs unless she was rapping, and now I can. Her getting to show off more of her skills, in both vocal and dance, is exactly what I wanted. I think she wants it too based on how she is making a big effort to sing live and stuff. Overall, there isn't that much to say about the song. I'm glad that SM didn't decide to go for an upbeat track, which they very well could have since it's summer and all. They needed a dark song to fit the vibe of Irene and Sulgi specifically. All of their future title tracks had better sound like this or I'm pretty sure of Elves will riot. <laughs> the album was the main reason why I wanted to make a review at all because oh my goodness is it amazing. I have said before that I care about cohesiveness in albums, and this album might just be the most cohesive album released this year. All of the b-sides sound like coffee house music, if you know what I mean, but also maybe a little more sexy than that. Diamond is such a chill song. It has jazzy vibes. Feel Good is not the most memorable track for me, but it is still better than most songs I have heard and it fits the vibe of the album so I won't complain. The guitar in the back is quite good, but Jelly. Jelly is such an amazing song. It's kind of upbeat, but still chill, and also creepy. I can't describe how I feel about that song except to say that it is perfect in every way. One of the most elite b-sides Red Velvet have ever made. Uncover was also a good song. I don't really understand what the lyrics mean but it struck me as emotional Sulgi's voice is as heavenly as always. I wish Irene also had a solo track. Also, if you didn't know there is a 6th track called Naughty which is currently only available on the physical album but will be promoted and released on streaming sites in a few weeks, I think. If Naughty is anything like the rest of these albums then my top songs of this year will already be locked in. And if they make a music video, be right back, just thinking about it is too much. All of us Revelovs were understandably angry about the music video being delayed, but when it did come out, perfection. Amazing. No words. Honestly watching it for the first time, I saw Irene's CGI monster face and I instantly wondered if they delayed the MV so they could add that in. Now wouldn't that be the most hilarious joke? SM. We are really tired of you always pushing Red Velvet to the side, as you tend to do with all of your girl groups. We wait a month for the first teasers, only to find out the whole comeback is pushed back another month. Then on the day, the music video is delayed for more than 12 hours. Like, what culturally insensitive set piece did you have to edit out this time? Anyways, the music video went above and beyond. Like we knew it was going to be good but I don't think anyone expected that. All of the sets were really pretty and I'm glad that they included so many dance scenes since the dance is so good. Also, it was, unexpectedly gay, they practically kissed like 3 times within the span of 20 seconds, and then you watch the behind the scenes of those parts, and they keep laughing after having to shoot one of those scenes. Those ladies are such good actresses, I swear. Overall, the music video meets required standards. After all if there's one thing SM can do well it's spend loads of money to make ridiculously good music videos. The concept and styling are honestly nothing we haven't seen before, but it suits Irene and Sulgi's vibes so I'm not really mad at it. I vastly prefer the darker styling. The top note version over the weird retro sets, the middle note version, though it was a nice touch that the background of the retro sets matched the members colors, 
All of their clothing was just black which looks classy, but, it also looks somewhat lazy. The way that their hair and makeup was done in that version of the concept photos is obviously supposed to look high fashion but to me it just doesn't look good. Middle parts are alright until you start slicking them back, and then it's a no go. The concept pictures of them in the water are elite, there's a reason why I use those for my past two thumbnails. Not much to comment about the styling for those considering there isn't any. However, the music video is where the styling gets good. All of their outfits in the music video are, should I say, a lot. Like they all have so many pieces and attachments which seems annoying to wear but looks great on camera. The makeup is the best makeup I have seen this month. What with Irene's red lip and Sulgi's weird thick eyeliner. All around. Great styling. Okay here is the part where I get to rave about the dance because the dance. Of course, we didn't expect anything less from Red Velvet's main and lead dancers but still, it is perfect. The dance matches the lyrics to a T. Notice how at the start, Irene is under Sulgi, as if she is being controlled by her, but at the end Irene is on top, and for the one light, two shadows lyrics, Irene and Sulgi control each other one after another. Another great part of the dance is Irene's monster dip move which they keep putting the CGI monster face over in all the stages but I just want to see from a wide angle. They said Irene wanted that move specifically to show off her skills and she worked really hard to perfect it, and credits to her because she pulled it off super well. I know I say that I like clear point moves, which is something that this dance lacks, but honestly I think it's alright that this dance doesn't have any because of the complexity of all the other parts. Unlike other dances I criticize, this one isn't supposed to go viral or anything, just show off their skill. That being said, the chorus is still the weakest part of the dance for me. My favorite part other than the ones I already talked about is the bridge, because Irene's control of the backup dancers can be seen there. As for the stage design and styling, it's nothing particularly impressive. The stage design is what you'd expect, and the outfits are just pulled from the music video or copying the ones from the music video if they aren't actually those. Sulgi's red hair is distinctive, but I'm not a fan. I much prefer her lighter red hair, which she only had for like a day because you can only see it in their album release V Live and a few Instagram pictures, and then she dyed it a brighter red, which is a color you see all the time. Oh well, Sulgi's hair was never her primary feature so she can do with it what she likes. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Sulreen was exactly what we needed to fill in the space between Red Velvet comebacks while Wendy recovers. And what can I say except that they delivered? I cannot wait for their future unit comebacks. Based on what we've seen from SM in a couple of years Red Velvet will have at least 3 units to their name. I am afraid that the start of Red Velvet's unitization, shall we call it, means the start of their decline and them subsequently getting ignored by SM. But at least for these next few years I have hope. Overall, this debut was everything I could have hoped for and more. Stan Red Velvet and Stream Monster. Bye guys, and I'll see you in the next one.